There was an old country song when I was a kid called, If You're Gonna Do Me Wrong, Do It Right. And it seems to me that that's a song uh, Jeb Bush maybe should have listened to because this week Jeb Bush weighed in saying that it was time to raise the retirement age on Social Security, a very, very bad idea that would be a benefit cut hurting a lot of Americans. But he said it and he even got the current Social Security retirement age wrong. Jeb, if you're going to do us wrong, do it right. So what happened was uh, Jeb, who, as you know, is former governor of Florida, is one of the many Republicans who's trying to cut Social Security. And we're going to talk a little later about uh, the financial status of uh, older American households. That's a really, really bad idea. It's really not something you want to do. But, of course, they're all talking about doing it, except Mike Huckabee, who is being contrary. And all the other uh, Republican presidential candidates are talking about how we need to cut Social Security by raising the retirement age and maybe doing other things as well. So here's what Jeb said. And bear in mind, Jeb is a member of the Bush family. So when Jeb expresses himself, he does so in that rather, you know, tortured syntax, which is uh, character of the Bush clan. What Jeb said was, and I quote, we need to look over the horizon and begin to phase in over an, an extended period of time going from 65 to 68 or 70. He was talking about the retirement age. Now, here's the problem, though. The retirement age is not 65 and hasn't been 65 for some time. The retirement age right now for people who age into Social Security is 66, and it will continue to rise until it becomes 67. So if you were born in 1959 or later, you will not qualify for a full Social Security benefits uh, until you are 67. So look. Jeb Bush, Governor Bush, uh, respectfully, sir, if you are going to cut a program which affects the lives of most Americans, the least you can do is get the facts right. And, sir, you did not get the facts right. That's worse than a candidate getting the price of bread or milk wrong when they're asked that gotcha question in a debate or a president's wonderment at the fact that grocery stores have electronic scanners now, which was reportedly what Jeb's father did when he was president although people say maybe he didn't, but that's neither here and there, neither here nor there. Now, here's the important thing to remember. The retirement age for most people who work for a living, particularly for people who work in physical jobs, is a fundamental part of American working life. You know when you're going to retire as you approach the age that, by the way, Jeb Bush is. When, once you get into your 60s, if you're working for a living in the United States of America, you know when you get to retire. If you're running for president, and you're in your 60s, and you don't know what the retirement age is, guess what? You're a privileged person who's out of touch with the American people. Look, this wasn't just some random flub that Jeb made. He did it because he was pursuing a specific policy goal that his Republican friends share, raising the retirement age. Now, there's research out there that shows, for example, uh, Center for Economic and Policy Research uh, has done uh, studies which show that raising the retirement age to 70, which is one of the ideas Jeb and his colleagues are tossing off, would mean a 10% reduction for benefits and workers who are now around 50 or so. So, and, you know, these things get worse over time. So uh, another study by the same organization showed that raising the retirement age makes inequality worse. We have a crisis of wealth inequality in this country, and Jeb's brilliant idea would make it worse. So, you know, this is a detail that Jeb seems to have missed, that this uh, that this this uh, retirement age ha- has risen because of a deal made in 1983. Now, since 1983, things have gotten a lot worse for older Americans. Let me spell it out for you. Since 1983, rising wealth inequality has left the middle class with stagnating wages and financial insecurity. They're living paycheck to paycheck, folks. Since 1983, the ultra-rich have become even wealthier with income that soars above the cap on payroll taxes, which funds Social Security, and that's starving Social Security a little bit. Since 1983, corporations have gutted the employee pension plans, which used to provide a little bit of financial security to Americans when they retired. And yet that retirement age has kept on rising two months at a time, just as scheduled, a fact which somehow escaped Jeb 
Bush's attention. Look, if Jeb Bush has his way, the lives of most Americans, lives he doesn't understand and doesn't seem interested in understanding, will become even worse in the decades to come, financially speaking. He should know better than that. And if he doesn't, the voters should know when it's time to choose him. I'm Richard R.J. Eskow, and this is The Zero Hour.